receivers forward, Carly Vogue. Carly, you had a uh, career night tonight in your last regular season home game. Um, what does it mean to you to not only set the uh, single game record, but the career record in points? They're both great achievements, but obviously the goal for tonight was just to win and you know secure a, a home playoff. So obviously I couldn't have done it without my teammates, but I'm glad, just glad we got the win. Uh, like you said, you guys secured a home playoff game tonight. Uh, next week you have uh, Moorhead and Northern, two other teams that are probably going to host home playoff games. Uh, what are you taking into those games as a kind of a measurement? They're both playing quite well at the moment, and obviously they're at home, so we're on the road. We've got to come back next weekend with back-to-backs like we did tonight with a lot of energy, teamwork, and just come out hard and get two wins. Even though we've secured the home, home playoff, we just want two more wins. Um, being at the end of the season, you, you can kind of already see the playoff picture taking shape. Uh, what's going to be the biggest thing to stay focused this week? Uh, I mean, just executing their offense and defense so that we can, you know, be good on our end and, you know, run, run on transition and just, like I said, get two wins. Well, we still got work to do. Um, we still have two games on the road, and Moorhead is one of those teams that's right there with us for the top four. Um, as well as Northern, who's leading the league right now. So obviously we still got two games to go, and we want to finish well. Um, but it, it, it's obviously a, a goal of ours this year to try to get a home playoff game to finish in the top half of the conference. And um, from there, you know, it's nice to accomplish that goal, but the work's not done yet. And then once we do get that playoff game, obviously we got to come out and prepare. I mean, there's nobody in this league that's, that's, that's not tough. Um, every single team brings it. Uh, we've had a lot of close games, and... You know, it comes down to maybe one play or one rebound or one free throw. And, uh, you know, bottom line is we got to bring our best game. And, you know, we're just excited that we get to play at home in front of our home fans. With Northern and Moorhead, two of the top teams in our side of the conference, uh, what's going to be your main focus going into those games? Well, number one, we just got to execute offensively. We've done a better job. Um, and I thought defensively, the last three or four games, we've really held true to our defensive game plan and executed pretty well. Our kids are really locked in and uh, engaged in what we need to do, and we've been better defensively. So uh, we just got to continue on that path. I think on the defensive end, you know that we've, we've got to win the war on the boards. That's always a huge thing. Limit our turnovers and then just shot selection on the offensive end. Uh, tonight, Carly Bogue in her last uh, home regular season game not only set a career points record, but a single game record for points. Um, how special was that for not only her, but for the team as a whole? Well, I think, you know, she, she, last year she tied the school record with 37 points three different times, um, didn't quite get over the hump, and, and tonight we didn't even know when we subbed her out that she was sitting at 37, and I know that that was something that she's definitely worked really hard to try to uh, accomplish and been really close a couple times, so we wanted to give her that opportunity, and um, she, you know, got lucky and the right play came along and she knocked down her free throws, so uh, tribute to her and what a great player that she is. Um, she's just really special and um, obviously has helped us win a lot of games and help us make this transition to Division Two, And uh, to become the career leading scorer, uh, knowing that she only played 26 games for the first two years. Um, in 27, uh, this, you know, last year, and then who knows what will happen this year. But, um, you know, that's, that's pretty special. That's a lot of numbers and uh, that's a big accomplishment. So very proud of all that she's done here in her time.